So here's a short video on how to fix these RV windows so that when they pop out of the tray, you can fix it inside the RV without having to get up on the roof and take the entire window off. What happens is these little plastic rollers will sometimes jump out of the track that they're supposed to run in. If someone that maybe is not familiar with this kind of window cranks on it a little bit too hard or if something bumps the window while you're parked, um, the problem is when that comes out of the track like that, you cannot drive the RV down the road with this window unsecured. So before you can go anywhere, you got to secure the window. Before this fix, normally what you have to do is climb up on the roof, take a set screw out of the hinge for this window, slide that whole window out of the hinge, and then slide it back in, feeding these rollers into the track as you slide that window into the hinge. It's a two-person job, fairly simple, but it's kind of a pain to have to climb up on the roof to fix it. So what I'm doing is we're gonna replace these two rivets with bolts so that we can fix that from inside the RV, one person fix, take you a couple of minutes. Tools and materials I used for this job was a cordless drill with a 3 16 bit, a Phillips head screwdriver, or whatever you need to match the bolts that you get. Then of course, a, uh, either an open, a, a wrench or a socket to match the, the nuts that you get. To do the two windows, I needed four bolts. So I used 1024s and a half inch length stainless steel. And then a matching 1024 nylon insert stainless steel nut. I prefer the ones with the nylon insert, nylock or aircraft nut, whatever you want to call it. And they were $1.98 per pack of eight of each. So total, it was about four bucks. And it took me about 15 minutes to do this project. But the first step is we got to take off the screen so that we have access. That's fairly simple. It's held in by little springs. There's a white plastic uh, handle there. And you just gently, well, first you make sure that your handle is, is sitting flat so it'll allow the screen to come out. So I get that handle flat so that the screen can fit over it. Pull that little plastic tab and it pops out and then just gently go along. There's probably four of them and the screen comes right off. These are the little, plastic, uh, little uh, metal springs that, that hold the screen in. So I'm going to set this to the side for the moment. So basically all I'm going to do is drill out these two rivets and put bolts in and then I will be able to do this all right here. I'm going to drill out one rivet, put the bolt in so it never gets out of place, put the bolt in, crank it down and then drill the other one and then I don't ever have to worry about anything happening while I'm taking it apart. But for purposes of this video I'm going to go do them both at the same time so I can show you what those little rollers look like and how if that window jumps out you can unbolt those two and slide them back in the tray. So, just taking it easy, going little by little, and drilling that rivet out. Okay, the rivet head came off. I don't know if you can see it there on the tip. So now I can just push the rest of the rivet out. I put my hand under there to catch the shavings, just so they don't end up in my couch. Just take your bolt and nut, place it through the hole, and crank it down. Okay, but purposes of the video here, I'm going to go ahead and screw the other one off so I can take this latch off and show you how those rollers fit in that little tray there. So I'm going to go ahead and drill the other one. Line up my bolt holes and put my bolts and nuts back together. Now that I got it all back together, 
I'm going to check and make sure the window operation works correctly. Nice and snug. Looks good. Now all we got to do is put the screen back on and then maybe vacuum up just a little bit here so we don't leave any metal shavings for somebody to come sit down and get a metal shaving in their back. So your window is flopped out and you need to fix it without having to climb on the roof. Now I can just take those two bolts out, hold the window open, slide the roller into the tray, slide the other one in, check that they're both in, and then very gently center it up, lift it back in, and put your bolts back in. And that's really all there is to it. Now to put the screen back on, make sure your latch is sitting flat and level so the screen won't hang up on it. Remember that, remember that the plastic pull is going to go on the inside on the bottom. Slide it up underneath the uh, window dressing, whatever you have there, and you'll feel those snaps start to come into place. You pop it back in, and you're done. Good idea one last time, just to roll it open, check the operation of the window, and especially on the edge towards the front of the RV, make sure that that's sealing against the wall on the outside of the RV as you run it all the way closed. That's the critical edge, obviously, because as you're driving, you don't want wind to catch that and pull that window out. Snug it down, and you're all done. Thanks for watching. If you have some suggestions or another technique or something related, put it in the comments and help out the next guy.